when I previously made the root beer float from scratch, I was a bit rushed and wasn't able to give too great of a reaction to its taste. Fortunately, I had enough leftovers of all the ingredients to make a new batch. This time, I shared it with a bunch of people to get their reactions. This is so cool. Nice. I am about to drink root beer. Root beer. Root beer. Root beer. This is a root beer float. A root beer float. Root beer float? How do people pronounce it? Root beer? Root beer. Root beer? Root beer. <laughs> do people say root beer or root beer? Is that the difference? Root yeah. versus root? Yeah. Okay, so let's try it. Yeah. That doesn't taste right. <laughs> There's something off about that. It sort of tastes like olives a little bit. <laughs> it's different. Mm, really nice and herbally. Yeah, it's definitely has a more of a natural taste. Earthy, very rustic. I like it though, it's good. What? That's nasty. <laughs> What's that root that root beer is made out of? Ooh, sassafras. I think I taste the sassafras. I don't really know what sassafras tastes like. A little less carbonation. It's very yeasty from the get-go. It is yeasty. It's almost like you forgot to bake bread and then you left it sitting out for a while. It is, it's very yeasty. Very sweet. It's got kind of like a sweeter taste to it. It's floral and then sweet. I can tell already that it's lost its texture and it really doesn't look like ordinary ice cream. It's a little sweet, but it's not super sweet. It sort of tastes like medicine. It's almost like a creamy lozenger. One of those Ricola lozenges. Ricola. Nutmeg? No nutmeg, really? Green tea matcha meets root beer. It definitely tastes better than rat poison. Definitely not A&W, but it's good. It just doesn't taste like typical sweet root beer. It's a little goaty. Maybe a licorice. Beer, like licorice flavor notes that you'd find in root beer. Almost like gum, like xylitol, like a fake sweetener. Yeah, maple syrup. Hmm, I would probably rate it a seven. This would almost be an eight. I'd give it a seven. I would drink this. I would say this is about half as good as an A&W root beer float. Way, way down. Like seven and a half, somewhere around there. Comparatively speaking, a and would also be that same eight. Probably like an eight? The a and root beer float would be like a two. <laughs> for originality, this definitely gets a nine out of 10, but for a root beer float in general, like an a and I'd give it a five out of 10. <laughs> like it's, it's more down than our national debt. Like that far down is how I would rate it. I'd give it like a four. I give it a thumbs up. <laughs> it's nice, it's refreshing. It's good stuff. I would try it again, knowing that you'd be improving upon it in the future. It would definitely, I think, go well at like a local grocery store. Oh would my you drink that like every day, like a root beer? No. It's not bad, but I'm going back for the texture, not the taste. Andy, let me give you some suggestions. Make something that people actually think, oh, Andy knows what he's doing, not this swell. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and check out other content we have covering a wide variety of topics. Also, if you've enjoyed these series, consider supporting us on Patreon. We are largely a fan-funded channel and depend on the support of our viewers in order to keep our series going. Thanks for watching. <laughs>